Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back to the internet. I'll be your host. I'll be your aerial engineer for this for this week's festivities. It's got to be Hiromancer's Cage, right? Aerial engineer seems real good, and it was very hard to deal with as a 4-4 four, for four, 4. And then you can take all the artifacts. But Hiromancer's Cage, if you're playing this blue-white deck, this is just better, right? I don't even know, man. I don't even know. I don't even know. I'm getting real tired of opening up Sun Cleanser. This card is... This card's something. It's one of these two. This is more versatile. This is a build around. This is more versatile. This is a build around. This is more versatile. You build around this one. This has more versatility. But you can build around this one. Did I mention you guys can build around this? Sun Cleanser and Palladium Wars are my new Jaya Zimbalan Inferno, yes. I, you know what's going to happen? I'm going to put this Aerial Engineer right here. You know why? Because YOLO. That's why. And then I'm going to take all, ooh, Meteor Golem or Herald of Faith. 4-3 Flyer for 5 is pretty good, and it can you get 2 every time it attacks. I think it's got to be Meteor Golem. Wow, that's a good, this is a good card, though. I'm going to take the Golem. I think Versatile is better than Build Around. However, I think build around is more fun. So, get wrecked. Suck on them eggs. It's Avon Wind Major Gallant Cavalry here. This Volcanic Dragon and this Electrify and this Lich's Crest are also very, very good. I do draft cards from Colors and Magic. I can't hide that. Everybody go follow Moonlight, Moon, Moonlight HK. Moonlight HK over on Twitch. Uh, she needs 11 followers to have 50 for affiliate. Uh, which is super sweet. So do that. I'm just going to take Avon Wind Mage. Yes, it's two two twos for 2W. Two that is correct. Um, I like switcheroo, especially if we get a bunch of crappy one twos and one ones. I think Knight of the Tusk is good, but I'm just gonna take the switcheroo because it's, I think it's a stronger card. Uh, in a in the in the perfect scenario, you know what I'm saying? You guys know what I'm saying? Hmm. Oh, none of these cards are great. Apparatus is good, though, because it does turn this on. So I'll just take the Apparatus here. No black or red cards, though. So if we were in the black or red... Like, we could take Tormenting Voice, un unexciting. Uh, Mandering River is pretty okay. Snapping Drake's probably the pick here, though. I actually don't hate the 05 wall, because I've seen it do some serious work. And um, if you can just get the flyers and put, the, put down the 05 walls, then you're... You're living that, living that dream. I would have taken Meandering, uh, Meandering River if we wanted to splash one of the two colors, like maybe white. Okay. Well, that's pretty cool. I don't want to pass this Aviation Pioneer, but I also, even as a 2-4 four for 4, this is reasonable, not great. But multiple 4-4 four, four flyers is... Look, look, we did it. Pretty sneaky, sis. Let me also go. I don't know if I, I'm moon, moon, moonlight. I don't even actually know if I'm following you yet. So I'm gonna go check. As soon as as soon as you, as soon as you pop up in my in my, in my feed here, I'm gonna take this guard, this gearsmith guardian because that guy is also pretty big. And this guy came back. Also anticipate. 1-4 is actually pretty reasonable. Remove all counters from a creature. It's it's totally irrelevant in this format. Target opponent loses all counters. Neither of these abilities are relevant in this format. It's very strange. I almost just want the anticipate because I don't actually care about 1-4 blanker. 
blanker. I want to take the disperse. That's just a versatile, versatile gentleman. Why isn't my chat working on the actual Twitch page? This is all very. Ah, one speaker is not terrible. One three with a little scry. This deck is looking great so far, guys. Yes, energy decks. That is correct. But I mean, like I'm, like I said, it has no relevance in this format. Oh, look, another Anticipate. Anybody watch past streams here? Uh, I do upload all my videos to YouTube, so you could check them there. Uh, everyone keeps asking my favorite archetype in M19. I have no idea. I've done six drafts so far. One, two, three, four, five, six. This is my eighth draft, maybe? So, or my, or this is my... This is actually my sixth draft. I have no idea. Um... Like, my, my, my default answer has been I like the black-white deck, and I also like the white... The white-blue deck, I guess, that I'm playing right now. <laughs> I have no idea. I don't know. It's too early for me to tell that. Pretty much anything you swap for a demanding dragon is going to be worse than the dirt than the dragon itself, so that's a, that's a pretty good deal. I will take a plummet. What's up, totally normal guy? It's it's funny because Luis actually posted their drafts on Channel Fireball, taking all of the uh, sky scanners, and now you just can't find a sky scanner, I guess, because everyone's like, Luis said it was great, so it's got to be really good. But then he did proceed to lose in round one in that draft specifically, so. Bone Dragon. Wow, maybe we're black. Maybe we're black. Ooh, exile seven other cards from your graveyard. This has to be amazing, right? Oh, uh, we wouldn't be splashing black. This is a double black card. We would be splashing white for these two guys. I I think this is worth picking over the snapping dragon. Yeah, this card's great. Uh, what do you do? Can't be blocked except by spirit. So you're a 2-2 two, two for 2. It's not terrible. Oh, we can just take this psychic symbiont if we're black. Actually, that's pretty much the only thing I want here. And we have Essence Scatter for it. Yeah, we're just going to take this. Okay. Yeah, we're just going to try to splash these off of... Now I wish we took the, the Meanderings, obviously. Oh, uh, well, there's a Lich's Caress. Alright, well. I will take any white fixing land at this point. Oh, hi, Symbiont. Oh, hi, Mark. I would definitely take I would this is this is a deck I would definitely play a manolith or two in. Forsaken Sanctuary, definitely better than you. Uh Strangling Spores is real good though. Huh. Strangling Spores. We don't have a ton of removal. What do I say about all my decks? Yeah, there's Divination, but Divination doesn't... I think these are way ahead. I'm just going to take the Spores here. Angel's good. Oh, there's a Meandering River. All right, that's better than a Disperse. I don't think we want another 5-drop, even though Angel's very good. Reassembling Skeleton's cool, but we don't really have the tricks for it. So I am just going to take this Meandering River. Actually, Manolith might be better here. 
Manolith not only ramps us to four, or five rather, but it also uh, it counts as an artifact. I'm going to take the Manolith here. Because we can always get more Forsaken Saint. We can, more get, we can get more white sources, but uh, the Manolith is pretty good. Surge Mare seems pretty reasonable. This card is actually great against us. Whenever one of our creature cards leave your graveyard. Combo! It's a combo with the Bone Daddy. Yeah, we're just going to take the 05. Is this, a, is, this a, is this worth splashing? Surge Mare has met every time I played it? Really? Did you, got, did you know it loots? Did you know about the loots? I don't care about Boneyard too much because our main colors are black and and blue. I, it's probably still Boneyard though. Stag is great, but it's two mana for it to deal too, sure. But it like it also blocks everything. <laughs> 05 blocks everything in this format. It blocks four fives, it blocks four threes, it blocks three threes. It blocks literally everything in the format, and then when you have a chance to get in, it just loots for you and can deal up to four damage. It's a very versatile card for two mana. Um, I like Essence Scatter here. Yeah, we're just going to be scattering. Oh, Snapping Drake. That is a late Snapping Drake. Sure. I didn't think Snapping Drake was going to table here. Uh, sure, it doesn't block flyers. It also doesn't block fear creatures. That is, uh, it also doesn't block shadow creatures as well. Um, I think trusty pack beast is actually pretty good here. Maybe. I mean, getting back a multi meteor golem is pretty good. I'm not gonna. I don't need this frilled serpent. We have a bunch of top end stuff. I also don't care about dwarven priest. If we're gonna splash something, it's gonna be this guy. This is not exciting to me. Just take neonate for the side bizzle. I mean, we could still be splashing the black, but it seems unlikely at this point. I'll take mono neonates dot deck over here. Alright, well, we got no lands on color, unfortunately, but... We still have a whole pack left, and our deck is pretty finished. Ooh! This guy's also pretty good. It's gotta be this, right? It's gotta be Graveyard Marshal. It could also be Bloodletter, but I think this is just a stronger card. The problem here is that... I don't know how we're going to ever bring this guy back, but let's say we don't bring this guy back ever. It's just a better air elemental, right? So... Yeah, I'm just going to take this guy. Oh, a double Surge Mare? Hmm, interesting. Strangling Spores. Also, Meandering River. Uh, I don't think it, it's Bonds. We're splashing white here. I'm probably going to cut one Anticipate, and as of right now, I don't see us playing Disperse. I think it's Spores, but I'm pretty sure it's actually just Meandering River. We have a lot of removal. Uh, or we have a, a lot of ways to deal with creatures, I should say. I'm just gonna, I am just want to make sure our Splash is easy. I also like the um, the blue one because we have more blue stuff we're interested in on turn two. Like I also we also have five four drops. I don't really think we need another four drop. Also, as far as removal goes, we have all of these things. Just pretty okay. 
And we can just take this strangling spores, I guess. You know. Like you do. Oh, I like bone to ash. Dang. I'm going to take this divination, though. I think divination is probably better here. We don't have a ton of artifacts for the aerial engineers, but... We're not going to take another... Oh, Skymarch Bloodletter. Starcrown Stag. Okay. Do we just cut these, maybe? God, again, this doesn't work out for us, which is super weird. Ghost Form sucks. Surge Mare is probably going to come back. We'll probably get a second Surge Mare. I think Surge Mare is probably better than Omen Speaker. Um, I'm pretty sure it's just Bloodletter here. Switcheroo number two. How good is that? We might be better off without the white. It, that might be quite factual. How are we getting creatures in the graveyard? We're not. They just die. It's a limited format. They just go to the graveyard because they die. Thank you. MTG Pyro, thanks so much for the reset. Really appreciate it. Welcome back. I don't hate the bookcase. I'm going to take the bookcase here. I think it's probably better than Switcheroo number two. Oh, I like a Salvager of Secrets, though. Yeah, that's pretty nice. Oh, wow. Horizon Scholar. Oh, God. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we're cutting the white here. Unfortunately, which means we can also probably cut the manolith. Okay, so if we cut the white, we're looking at you're gone, you're gone, you're gone. I don't think we need manolith at that point then. So we have 22 cards here. It's pretty good. Still, our deck still looks very good. That's a late scholar, Talarian scholar, the 2 3? I can't tell if you're being serious right now. That's a late scholar. But again, we like we have like two artifacts here, maybe three. If we had the I'm still gonna take it, but if I mean we haven't seen a single one of the uh I'll take Gearsmith. That's playable possibly. That wow, okay, so that's two late two really late scholars. There are a lot of scholars in this set. <laughs> this set's very scholarly. Neonates are playable. We're not in any... It's, this is not a Neonate deck, for one thing. How do I resub? Um, If it's a Twitch Prime sub, you have to do it from the desktop, I believe. So this is a card I want. This is a card I want. You're a card I kind of want. Uh, I don't think we actually need any more five drops, though. I'm not going to just throw a five drop in here when we have Switcheroo, Salvager of Secrets, Bone Dragon, and Lich's Caress. Plus two more six plus cards. This deck looks pretty good. Uh, the problem with Aerial Engineer is that we only have, like, three artifacts in the deck. So, I don't think... I mean, even if we have white, like, it doesn't mean we also have to have one of the three artifacts in our deck. I don't like Scholar here. It's probably just Disperse or Anticipate. You know how many, not many targets for Salvager? I, that seems incorrect. I mean, this is seven targets for a Salvager. Even if you hit one of these, it's pretty insane. Uh, you don't need a, you don't really need a one one for Switcheroo to steal their five five dragon. Like you're more than happy to give them a one three or an O five or a two two. I'll give them a two two flyer or a zombie token and steal their steal their five five. Like you, you know, like you guys are looking at the best, the best case scenario. I mean, even if we didn't have two drops, though, it's still like five very good targets for a salvager. <laughs> even if you get strangling spores back, which is probably one of the better targets, I, I think salvager is 
pretty hard to cut. Uh, it's probably our weakest five drop, but I still don't think it's cuttable. There's just no reason to cut it. Like, we have 22 cards. We're not looking for cuts right now. It's either disperse or anticipate. I like having a disperse. It's also better for the... Uh, eh, we'll put a boneyard in. Which will undoubtedly uh, wreck us at some point. I actually do like disperse with um, switcheroo. Yeah, you you steal you steal their guy, give them your guy, and then you bounce your own guy back. It's pretty good. And I, I like I, I can definitely see aerial engineers taking over the game, but we have like I said, we have two artifacts that come down before turn five. So I mean, otherwise you're just you're just splashing for for giant spiders that don't have reach. And it's just there's no reason to mess up our mana base for that. Especially when we have double blue, double black, double blue, double black, double black. Like, it's just not not reasonable to do. All right. Oh, yeah. This guy's coming down. Am I hearing your messages, Frank? What does that mean? I've... I have no idea what you're saying right now, Neros. Hey, look, we found out where all the sky scanners went. I do not know what you are seeing. Wow, stupid! Not whatever. Not whatever I typed. What is that? What's even going on right now? Is this just your graveyard? Oh, that would have been great if it was any graveyard. That'd be amazing. Well, it would have been awesome if we actually hit a land there as well. That would have been cool. I like hitting land drops. Marshall is a 3-2. Uh, I think it's Bolus. Tezzer. Tezzer's only worth five tickets, and I already picked up a play set for because it's like he's going for like five tickets. Which is literally what I said, so I don't know why I repeated myself there, but. I feel like Tezzerit should go up. It's very strong. Very strong card. Land? No. Four drop. Fantastic. Who's having a good time? Everyone is. Could have made our guy unblockable. Put them to 11. And then we take three back, go to 15. Maybe that's good. I don't know. I'd rather just keep Disperse up in case they try some shenanigans. That is correct. We probably will not uh, open a Nexus of Power. Nexus of... Of Fate is what you mean. And it's also going for like 39 tickets on Magic Online because the only way to get it is through Treasure Chests, which is utterly ridiculous to have a standard card that's only available through Treasure Chests. It's just an absolutely ridiculous premise. I think it's just Snapping Drake here. Like, we know they have Spider in hand. The only card we'll worry about is, like, Rabid Bite. And Essence Scatter, I guess, if they have it right now. But they do give us a creature for Graveyard Marshal if they Essence Scatter this guy. Sounds like Messenger Notice on my phone. I have My phone is never on... My phone is always on Vibrate. You will very rarely hear my phone on stream. This is pretty aggressive. I can be your spider, baby. Alright, land? Yeah, we're doing it. Essence scatter number dos. So next time we can make a guy and play disperse, which is nice. But gosh, it's real tempting to not do that just to return this guy to play after he dies. This guy's got reach too. Ooh, how do I like this format so far? It's pretty okay. I don't really have a problem with it.
have two cards? What are the odds we just kill this guy and, and, and get in there? So this is just a better card to use, right? I mean, despite this... Yeah, we're just going to caress you. Especially if they have, like, a titanic growth or something. Bone dragon's ready! Don't worry, skeletons are already dead. Death Touch doesn't That's a good... That's a good mechanic if that's the case. Yeah, I'll take three here. I will take three. Sure. Just gotta go to the face. That's an intriguing... Um, if we divination... Yeah, we're just gonna kill you. Put you to one. And I feel like you're probably not likely to attack here, but what do I know? I got a new attitude. Can you add bone saws right to your side? Oh, maybe. I feel like that comes up often enough. I feel like that does come off, come up a good amount of times. Gas. Okay, we just won the game. Well, our deck is pretty good. I actually think Aether Tunnel's pretty good. Can't be blocked in plus one, plus oh. You just put it on, like, anything. Put it on Surge Mare. Oh, I don't like Surge Mare. Put it on Surge Mare and just go to town, right? Seems pretty okay. I'm down to clown. Down to clown till I'm dead in the ground. I'll keep this hand. We got some playables here. It's a very unfortunate situation when you have the, uh, the two, the two uh, engineers in the sideboard. Sacrifice it. Can't be blocked except by spirits. Okay. I'm intrigued. Boom, boom, boom. I had to take a work call. Could you catch me up on everything that happened after you cast your Nia Elder Dragon for the first time? Um, yeah. Sure. I'll do that later. I just started listening to your stream. Very knowledgeable. Keep it in mind. Hopefully, Arm Fro, hopefully you're watching as well. You don't have to just listen. I put the visuals on the screen. Booyah. Let's play Swamper into Apparatus. Apparati. We can also attack here and then loot. Like, I don't know why people think of this guy is not good or just... I also have no incentive to... I have no incentive to, to not attack, but I also have no incentive to attack because we're not going to be pumping when we have Essence Scatter in hand. I'm at work so I watch when I can. Nice. Sounds good. I That's actually the best. I'm basically just a live podcast that you guys can uh, interact with. Do I have anything that just targets? Oh, we also have Anticipate, too, so. Oh, Casual Calamity. You don't have to have the desktop app. You just have to do it on the desktop. You just literally have to subscribe. Oh, and also, it, yeah, not yet is weird. But, yeah, not the app. Just on the desktop, like in a browser. The Twitch desktop app is, should, should not be necessary at all. Oh, what are we getting here? Uh, we don't have a second black, so I don't think it's Marshall. I think Meteor Golem's just the best pick here. Just having that guy in the hand is pretty good. And I assume we'll draw a good amount of land arenas. 
So we're probably going to end of turn strangling sit this Avon Wind Mage. And uh, next turn we'll apparatus this guy and keep up Essence Scatter again. I wish this Surge Mare could block these things. Josh, thank you so much for the, the gifted sub. Really appreciate it, buddy. You are great. You are a gentleman and a scholar. Get your bird out of my life. You have four cards. You're not playing any of them. Are they all double green spells or are they all counter spells? These are the questions. Oh, okay. Land. Nailed it. What's it like being this good at this game? I don't know. People ask me all the time. And I was like, hey, Frank, how do you get so good at Magic the Gathering? And I'm like, well, you see... Um, you work your ass. That's that's how curse words sound when you try not to curse on stream. Oh, when it becomes a target of a spell, sacrifice it. Oh, I thought I was just gonna die immediately. Not an ability. That's much more interesting. Okay. Yeah. No. <laughs> this is what we were expecting. We figured you just had Grave Digger in hand and you couldn't actually do anything with it, so we're just gonna hit a land. Oh, we didn't hit a land, but we will attack. I could see discarding the switcheroo, especially because I don't want to give you the surge mare when you have blue mana. I'm not going to pump again because we could hit playable things like a land. Yes. Oh, divination is perfect. Like a land. Oh, boneyards ready. Do we tune every morning to be better at magic? I don't actually eat fish at all, so... No? But I wouldn't begrudge someone for eating their tuna. T -t -t tuna I don't actually want to play this, because if they don't have anything to play, if they're just sitting on essence scatters, I really don't want these guys to get countered, so... I'm actually just going to attack. And... Uh, deal you a million. I don't think there's a one mana spell that you can have. Like a one damage spell. So. Yes. Let's get rid of an island. Play a land. You may go. So we can attack for two here. Discard the Salvager. Or discard the swamp. Seven. I mean, they have to have counter spells in hand, right? Actually, I think we just play this guy now. Like, this is the card I, I want them to counter the least. Or the most, I guess. So, yeah. If you're not going to do that, that's fine. Okay. Bing, 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 bing. Oh, that resolved. Well, I'll be. We actually played this guy because we actually don't care if it gets countered. Um, I'm not actually going to discard anything. Might have been better because we have Bone Dragon, but I, I don't think we're going to have to... If, if this Our hand is absolutely stacked right now. I don't actually know what they're doing. Four, five, six, seven, eight... I'm waiting on real bombs. Why don't you play a real creature, then I'll kill it. Okay, well, that's fair. Uh-oh, something's happened. I see. This is actually going to go quite well for us, to be quite honest. Uh, four, five, six, seven, eight... We're going to make you a 4-4. Four, four. 
And if you want to discard to give it Hexproof, it'll be a 1-1. One, one. And then we don't even trade. Yep, this is how you get rid of Chromiums. Discard land. And we get a Bone Dragon in the graveyard. Seems good. So basically just playing four color Chromium deck. Yeah, that's fine. One, two, four, five, six, seven. I guess we start, ha we have to throw something out here, right? So one, two, three, four, five, six. Just play this guy, we'll Essence, get, get it Essence Scattered. So, they just not have Essence Scattered? What is even going on? Can't be blocked, put you on the bottom, don't care. You're actually pretty okay because we can do two things next turn with you. One, two, three. So they got th there are three turns, but I mean, like if they want to make this guy unblockable, that's fine. We can just we'll just block it otherwise. They didn't do anything. I'm intrigued. All right, you're halfway there. This guy. And this guy. All right, maybe they don't have any Essence Scatter at all. Maybe we're just playing around nothing and we just have a handful of gas. Good game. All right, well. I will good games you. Sweet. All right, our deck is pretty good. Boom, 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 boom. Let's join the match. Yeah, this hand's great. Uh, play, play around. Uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure Surge Mare was pretty insane that game. Anyone who I, I don't know, I, I think if you if you're under the impression Surge Mare is not good, like you got to do a little more work in this format. It blocks everything. That four six blocks it, unless they want to spend seven million mana. Wow, this is just a hasty. This is just a hasty boy. Oof. Well, that's pretty good. Yep. Manasio. Talking with the two one, huh? Okay. Well, that's a weird choice, but you do what you, you do what you gotta do. How's it gonna be? I just assume you have a trick, so I'm just gonna deal with it accordingly. Of course you have Sure Strike. Why wouldn't you? I mean, you still traded that guy for a Sure Strike, which is pretty fine. This is my bookcase. I don't think I care about that. Actually, I do just because it's a. I forgot about the haste guy. That's a no, that's obnoxious. Yeah, that guy I don't care about. All right, well, 
We're definitely just taking three here and blocking you and you. Um, is this how I want to do it? We can also just take one more and kill this menace guy, which could be better in the future turns. So if we kill this guy, they have five guys that they're attacking with. I think this is okay. That's kind of a draw that we wanted. Yeah, killing the menace guy does kill the mayor, which is a valid point. No attacks. So next time we can go uh, divination, play a land, keep up essence scatter, or surge mayor pump. Great, given given we survive that long, just stop drawing creatures and I'll be fine. Just stop drawing creatures. Bone, Bone Dragon seems to be prepared. Bone, Bone Dragon is ready, you might say. Do you have another creature? Active Trees and Bone Dragon? That's pretty good. Sometimes you just got to call out the worst possible thing they can do. So when they do it, you're like, oh, I knew that. I saw that coming. Nope, just an Onaki Ogre. I think we're still in great shape if they attack here. We can use Surge Mare on the Ogre. Uh, block a 1-1. One, one. No, just nothing. This doesn't seem like a profitable attack for them. Yeah, cool. Oh, yep, just going to keep this guy up and keep up Essence Scatter. And I think we're in good shape if we're able to do this. I don't like not divinationing there, but I also want to keep a guy on the board, so... Can we do anything at the end of turn? Not really. Windrake with prowess coming through. Oh, it's not bad. We can attack for three here. We still got a blocker, blocker, blocker. We take four. And we can pump. The good thing about you is that you can block here profitably. You can block here. Yeah, ideally we get to Essence Scatter something and then Salvager of Secrets the Essence Scatter back. I'm not sure if I'd rather this be a cancel or not at this point, but... I mean, creatures all have haste, so... Nope, still no attacks, which I'm feeling pretty comfortable about. Oh, I see. <laughs> well, isn't that special? Huh. So six, seven, eight mana. This is five, and we can keep up Essence Scatter and get back Divination. 
And we're definitely bone dragoning here. Making this guy 3-3 three, three also enables them to block here, and we can keep a best in scatter as well. I think we just took over I think we just took over this game, but we gotta be careful. They have two cards? Alright, that's not terrible. There are 44 Planeswalkers in Standard? Is that true? That's unbelievable. That doesn't even seem real. That's a ridiculous amount of Planeswalkers in Standard. What up, Pepperidge Farm? Yeah, that was pretty good. That was a pretty okay turn. If you ask me... Oh, that's a great draw. 1-3. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Um, top. Top them. Top them both. One, two, three, four. Bone Dragon. Can we win this turn? No, I don't think so. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Actually, maybe we could have if we gave this guy and block a one, two, three, and then one, two, three, four, use the four to pump. But I think we just wait a turn. Uh, Suspicious Bookcase. It's a great blocker. It has artifact synergies. It's a gives you guys unblockable it just does some things we're i mean at six drafts in i don't presume to be an expert of the format but i do like to try things so and now we have lethal on board wow this was a this was a match all right all right this is a match all right all right that's what he said vampire neonate could be surprisingly good against their deck um wish we had that one three lifelinker that's in the color we're not playing Surge Mirror, Omen Speaker, Essence Scatter, Disperse, Anticipate. I think our deck is actually fine. They got probably one of their... I feel like that's one of their better draws. I'll take out the Switcheroo for... Apparatus, perhaps? I guess we'll see. The problem with Neonate is that it doesn't block the 4-2 the four two profitably. It doesn't block the 3-2 profitably. Um, like, it's, it's okay. I don't think we want more... Zero toughness, guys. I'd probably just rather have apparatus at this point. That kills the four two and the three, the three two. So, Yeah, I'm Franklin Parr. Yeah, that's actually wow. That was really good. That sounds like a thing I would say. That was surprisingly good. This is why Admiral gets gets paid the big bucks. Uh, this hand is terrible, but I'm gonna keep it because I don't want to go to five here, and it has all the lands we could eat. We'll set ourselves up for a, a surge mare next turn. Okay, I accept. Man, no one drops with uh, that give haste. No two drops. What happened? Did they switch decks? Three two. Oh, that guy's terrible. Actually, just considering we have to survive this long, I, I hope they sack this for like a six drop or something, and we just bounce it. That would be the most gas thing ever, I think. Meh, see? There's a Catalyst Elemental, see? I'm gonna take two damage, see? Meh. Oh, what's it gonna be? Trample guy, um, nah, I'm probably just gonna bounce this guy. 
boop. Yeah, our hand's actually insane now. We get to play this guy, followed by this guy making this guy 5-5, five, five, and we have the gain 3 removal dude. I'm pretty sure our 4 cards are better than whatever 6, six nonsense you have in your hand. That's just my guess. Pretty sure I'm also just going to block here. Oh, interesting. Wow. That was aggressive. All right. You got it. Where are my skeletal archers at? Where are my archers at? Oh, you just stole that guy? I'm going to be honest. That doesn't seem very impressive unless you thud me. Are you going to thud me? It's an uncommon. This doesn't feel thuddy. Oh, you just killed my... Alright, that's fine. That's whatever. Well, their hand got more aggressive, but they have the 4-3. The We're just going to... I guess and scatter that idiot. Don't thud me, bro. Did you guys hear that neck crack? It felt good. I would probably take Luminous Bonds over this just because this is two colors, but I think this card is very good. This is top, top three picks, I think. Yeah, no. Yes, no. So they yeah, use a take vengeance and an act of treason on one gearsmith. That's fine. I guess we'll take three here, go to eight, and then ideally play this symbiont. Nailed it. The chance graduation. They go to one card, we go to two. Of course it's a boneyard, but you know, what are you gonna do? Is this the part where like we just win because they don't... Wow, double luminous bonds? Good lord. See, if this is another land, we can actually... Well, we actually don't want to hit this guy. We want to hit this guy. Put me up to eight. Whatever you play next turn doesn't do anything. Double luminous bonds is scary. We didn't see any of... We didn't see double luminous bonds or the take vengeance in game one. Oh, yes. I want the Lich's Caress here. But I also just kind of want the Essence Scatter. But I guess if we take the Lich's Caress, we just kill whatever they, they play anyway, so. Alright, well. Let's see if we die. Active Trees and Shock. That would kill us. Otherwise, I'm just blocking here. Banefire would also kill us if they sack this guy for two. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, for sure. We're for sure blocking this guy. Also, getting dispersed back is good when we have both these guys on board, but... Oh. Oh. That's pretty gas. Oh boy. I'm gonna block, see? Yeah. Yeah, I'm blocking your guys, see? Two twos, see? Little snackies. Little snackies, you're the one. What's that, Frank Bucks to treasure tokens? I have no idea. What's a treasure token? Hi, Frank Mike. Heck, hi, chat Mike. I'm Chicken Mike. <laughs> oh, my God. I can't. Thanks for the games. I'm going to give me you two and the GG. Our deck is sweet. Did you guys know that? Did you guys know our deck was sweet? Spoiler alert. Your mom's Goblin Raider. Thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. Welcome, welcome. That's also a great name. Don't you wish your mom's Goblin Raider was hot like me? 
<sighs> da, 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 da. Put on a happy face. Vic 195 victory bits. Thank you so much, man. Really appreciate it. Reinar... Reiner uh, That is a hard name to pronounce, and I uh, am reluctant to try, even though I tried. I will play first. I will keep this Surge Mare hand. I don't understand. I'm still trying to wrap my head around the Surge Mare comments. Ryan, thank you so much for the sub, too. I'm just going to say Ryan, because that's the first four, first four letters. Reinar? You tell me. Thanks so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. You are the best out of all the, of, out of everyone in the world. I'll give him the old you too. I just put plans are. Surge Mayor. Oh, where were you last turn? That's just rude. Against like the white green decks, like what do they even do against the Surge Mare? You just like just 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 you just die basically, right? What can you even do against Surge Mare? You know what, at least you didn't try knowing how bad it was going. Yeah, I was like, you know, it's just a matter of like I, I respect the fact that your your name is hard to pronounce. I'm gonna step back. Let's say oh, don't hit. Don't hit. Oh, they hit a goblin instigator. That's a good one. Oh, this is like the this has gotta be a good combo. A good a good token deck here. They just block here. That seems seems pretty bad. I'll just play a suspicious looking bookcase. And a boneyard. Oh, we do have a bunch of blockers for their ground, guys. This has got to be the angel uh one one token. Guys get plus one plus one in haste deck. Why not? It's pronounced Ryan Ryan R Ryu Goo. Just say it like that. That's fair. I could have. I'm going to block here, and if you want to pump it, fine. Okay. Sure. Nothing happened. That was cool. Surge Mare doing it again. Don't be a land. It's a good card. It's a good card. Don't you wish your goblin was hot like me? We could attack, but Surge Mare is not getting through, unfortunately. We're going to attack with this guy, probably. Um, Switcheroo, not great here. <sighs> exchange control of two target creatures. What if we exchange control of our two creatures? That seems pretty good, right? We could make this guy unblockable. One, two, three, and then pump it. But I'd rather just play Horizon Scholar next turn and call it a day. We're going to attack because if they have the Angel next turn, we're not going to be able to block profitably with Avon Wind Mare anyway. Avon Wind Mage. Wind Mare. <laughs> eh, Shield Mare is fine. Let's do a thing. I don't want either of these, so that's nice to hit those. Boom. Now I feel like they're going to either play the plus one, plus one sorcery that makes two one ones, or they're going to play angel. Could go either way. If you switch or one of the creatures dies, it fizzles. I did know that because you can't exchange something when there's when there's nothing there. When that is, oh, we're, now we're now we're definitely taking the Spark Tongue Dragon for something. One, two, three, four, five. We can play. Wow, why would you do that? Um.
What's our, I, we're, we want to switcheroo first. I don't want to give them this. I think Surge Mirror is actually better to give them because they can't utilize it at all. Because I don't want them to get uh, plus... I don't want to give their, then start giving their guys Defender. Or Unblockable, rather. And we do get to attack for 7 here, which is a lot. Enjoy your Surge Mare. All right, your move. Waiting for that angel or that plus one, plus one sorcery. Oh, we're in combat, so they don't have it. Oh, Inspired Charge is also a thing, so we're probably dead if they have Inspired Charge, just because that card is not fair. It's not a reasonable magic card, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and then we can anticipate. Um, yeah, we'll just block here, right? So we take 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. We'll go to 4, and even if they have... Yeah, and they'll be dead on board. Trump Blast, sure. If it's double Trump Blast, we're dead. We are not dead. They can draw this card, sure. Oh, no! Strangling Soot. Give me a Soot one time. Actually, any removal will be good here. Oh, Lich's Caress. Wow. That is no good. One, two, three, four, five. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. This is unbelievable. Come on. Two strangling slits in the deck, a disperse in the deck. Are we dead if we make this guy? <laughs> So we can take this is not this is not relevant. We can take this. So we have one, two, three, four. We're not dead. Uh, explosive does not kill the Pegasus. It's two damage. Pegasus is a one three. Any rubble is good. MTG will hold my beer. <laughs> Fantastic. Um so this guy and this guy can get through, right? So we gotta take one, two. We can block all four of these, and then we go to one. All right, we're not dead if their hand is nothing good. And then we get another turn on the crackback to do the thing. Good lord, this is just feels bad, man. Just have two blanks that don't actually affect the board in any way, shape, or form. That doesn't do anything. Okay. Okay. I think we're still good. I think we win the game now. Don't you wish your flyer was hot like me? Thank you. Leo Magic, thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. Welcome back. So three, four, this is tensies. You can't shock. Oh, wow, what a game. What a game! It was a game! What's he doing? I don't know. This could be another neonate matchup where we're just like neonates all day. What a game! I mean, if they had Mighty Leap, they would have just played it last turn and killed us. That would have been game. I cannot imagine they are slow rolling the mighty leap that wins them the game. <laughs> is it Neo or is it Nate? I am Neo. I'm the one, my friend. I am the one. What is the 
There's got to be a cut here somewhere. Switcheroo seems bad in this. Oh, we did get to take a dragon, but I still it still seems pretty pretty medium here. So I want to bring in one Neonate. Is it Neonate? I think that's actually actually is is an other Neonate better than Bookcase? I don't know. Hard decisions to to make. I'll keep this hand. Why do you not mulligan the hand? Our record right now is 2-0 in an upper game. Come on, you're in the stream chat. I'm, I'm literally streaming live right now. You can just ask me. I'm right here. With Pride Mate? What's Pride Mate? What the hell is Pride Mate? Kerwit, Dex don't kill me when Frank kills me. Oh, God. Oh, my God. Mayor. Snappy? This guy does a lot of work. This guy does a lot. What's Pride Mate? What am I missing here? I'm going to Google it. A Johnny Pride Mate? What the hell? Pride Mage? What the hell's Pride Mage? What are any of these things you guys are saying? I don't understand. Do they hit? God, they hit every time. They're so good at this game. It's unbelievable. That's incredible. I'm just going to kill this idiot now. Yeah, I don't know if anyone's spending two mana in their in their Johnny Pride Mate deck to gain some life. But what do I know? The answer is not much. He does not know very many things. Yeah, guys, I know what a Johnny Pride Mate is. I just wasn't sure. I, that seemed like a weird thing to to compare with a Neonate, which is not necessarily a playable card in any constructed format that a Johnny that a Johnny Pride Mate's legal in. If you know what I'm saying, give me a big creature, please. Big creature. I will also accept a mediocre land as well. <laughs> All right. Eight, eight lands to uh, to four spells is not really where you want to be in Magic the Gathering. I don't know if you guys knew that. A Johnny's Pride Mate was reprinted in the set? No, it's not. What are you guys talking about? There ain't no A Johnny's Pride Mate in, in M19. Um, yeah, that's fine. I'll just block here. I can't just take two forever. Oh, that thing is annoying. Removal spell. You are nothing close to a removal spell, my friend. Is it? Huh. Well, I'll be. No, I'm using magic cards that info, and it doesn't say it, but it's, I don't think they've updated for M19 yet. That's weird. I'm not okay with it. No, I'm not trolling. I just didn't know. It's not a big deal. I was using information right in front of me from magiccards.info and it says there is none so that's what I was going by they apparently have not added M19 yet though so sure alright well we're going to try to be on the play next round by next round, I mean next game, and by try, I mean we're going to be on the play. This is none of this is going very well for us. Oh, where were you last turn? Yeah, we're just dead here. This is not, it's not good. One, two, three, four. Next turn we can go five. Now we can't even do that. Well, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Could have actually been Strangler Divination next turn, but what do we kill? If we kill this. They still attack us for four this turn. I guess we block here and we take three. Four, five. Block here. Block here. They take three. Oh, we take three, I guess. That's actually not terrible. So we go to four. Uh, next time we use Salvager to get back this. What would we have drawn? Island. Island. Spores again. I don't know. Might not have been terrible, but...
whatever. I'm just going to submit like this. I think we're going to get good. You should have played the card that wins. I agree with you. I felt like I was doing that in game one. And then game two, I was just like, where are my, where are my win cards at? I'll keep this hand just because we do have a play if we can draw another blue. And if we don't, we had a good time. And we still get to do stuff, so. All right, we're in it to win it. You ready? God, we're so good at this game. Also, this is a lot of good cards to discard with Surge Mare. And by good cards, I mean Swamps. Oh, that's a good one. Um, I think we can actually just play Omen Speaker here. We don't have to loot, and this makes just a um put you on the top, put you on the bottom. Sacrifice this to deal four to a creature. And this card's actually very good. I don't know if it's constructible. It's a two-two for two. Like the stats are solid, right? That's a solid stat. Hey, let me see them solid stats. Get busy snapping. And we'll just take it. I got a strangling spores for next turn. We can also play that guy and keep up this guy's ability. <sighs> block here. Double blocking here seems good. Yeah, I think we're ahead enough where we can play this guy. And we get to keep up Surge Mare, Surge Mare 2. Surge Mare 2 3 seems good. So let's say they do a plus plus three plus oh. Is it plus three or plus two? What a sure shot. Uh, just checking. Sure strike plus three. So that'd be six. So they go three, three. Kill both of these guys. I'm probably just going to take two here. Uh, we don't block with the 2-2 two -two and the 0-5 because if they have Sure Shot, Sure Strike, they kill both. Because that seems bad. They also have Dismissive Pyromancer on board. So, yeah, we're just going to take it. Blocking just seems bad. All around. Yeah, that dude's dead. Kind of didn't want to land here, but yeah, we're just going to kill this immediately so that they can't do any shenanigans with it. I don't want to play Horizon Scholar when you have Pyromancer on board, but I'm not going to. Also, not going to. Well, we're in the beginning of combat. So we know they have Trumpet Flare as well. Trumpet Blast? What was that? Trumpet? Trumpet card? Trumpet City? Yeah, I don't really want to three for one myself just so our Horizon Scholar can survive. That doesn't seem great. I think we're just winning this race. Oh boy. Magic's a hard game. 
Magic's less hard of a game right now. This is super interesting. Um, can we race here? Probably, right? I can make this guy 4-1 and kill this guy. And then bounce this idiot. So then they just have Brute and this guy on board. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I mean, they untap, they kill this guy for sure, and then they attack with these three. Tap this guy down. We can block here. We'd take three, four, five, six, but then our surge may would get through, and this guy would be dead. Um, so if they have the trumpet blast, they leave everybody alone. They just tap this guy down, right? So then they have four creatures that are attacking with the intent of trumpet blasting. We block two. We can block here and here. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We can actually not block here just to save a guy. What if we just block here? Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. We would die. If Trumpet Blast is the card, we're dead. Disperse is very good here. I almost like Horizon Scholar to set up a, a better. The thing is, they can't Trumpet Blast and play something else, which is nice. So, uh, Marshall seems reasonable. Does it do anything? Not really. I don't think I care about the Marshall, to be quite honest. I think I'd rather hit something better. They could also just tap this guy, kill this guy. Oh, yeah. This is Trumpet Blast City. Take me down to the Trumpet Blast City where the grass is green and the girls are pretty. Yeah, if it's Sure Strike Trumpet Blast, we might be dead. We block here. And here we take 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. It's actually exactly lethal if that's the case. Oh, this is a good. This is a good. This is a good good. I'll block here. And uh, block here. And assume you don't have both. But this guy still kills you. Trump Blast. Oh my god. If they don't have a guy, we're... They have a guy. Dang it. Oh, they don't have a guy. We bounced that. Oh, we did it. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Remember that guy? Remember the... Let's talk about Surge Mare, ladies and gentlemen. Good games. Ooh. The heat. The heat. Got him. 3-0. Thank you so much, guys. Really appreciate you watching this draft on YouTube.internet.tv. Uh, really appreciate the support. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. Check me out on Patreon and Twitch. Both of those links are in the description. And I'll see you next time. Love you guys.